my recording and bismillahir rahmanir rahim i uh, shared the screen i think all of you can see my screen is it yes any... sir okay my yeah. student so uh, as we have only two bengali students i will try to uh, explain in english but if you face any time uh, you can tell sir please uh, explain it in bengali also okay but i will try to explain in bengali in the middle but as so many foreign students we have so we will try to complete our class lecture into english first okay but in the meantime in the middle i will also discuss in bengali also uh, so first of all my students uh, in today's uh, class our first topic is energy sources okay so you all know uh, energy is a thing uh, cannot be created it can only be transformed from one for, you know from one form to another form shakti kokhono toiri kora jay na shakti shudhu ki ek form theke ki arek form e rupantorito hoy so we all know that uh, there are different sources of energy today's topic is all about energy and different sources of energy we all know my student uh, the energy can be categorized or can be described into two types one is renewable energy sources and another one is non renewable energy sources okay renewable energy sources and non renewable energy sources in bengali shakti ke pradhanoto duti bhage bhag kora jay ekta holo ki nobayanjoggo shakti ar ekta ki onobayanjoggo shakti kadir jano mon hoy na egulo ha so my student the non renewable energy can anyone tell me some of the example of non renewable energy sources any student energy from generator sir mm, one more time the charcoal sir charcoal that means we are talking about coal coal that means coal in bengali is coal yes, sir so uh, yeah there are also some of the other non renewable energy sources those are oil oil yes. coal the natural gas you know uh do you know uh, what is the uh, which energy is the most available in bangladesh is it coal oil or natural gas anyone natural gas natural, natural gas natural gas natural gas is the main energy source of bangladesh okay so uh, we used to import oil and also coal from the other countries so we all know these are the non renewable energy sources that means uh if we use this source you know we cannot use it twice okay so that's why it is non renewable it cannot be renewable it cannot be used several times so from there on the concept of renewable energy sources the concept of renewable energy sources comes that means in in this world we all know that we are using energy every time every time we are using energy so if we if the you know the amount of energy we are using every time if we use it continuously the non renewable energy that means the oil the coal the gas it will be finished in a survey in a research it is found that the remaining amount of oil will be you know finished within 100 years the remaining amount of coal will be cleared on you know 200 years so something like that so after 100 years or 50 years or 200 years the non renewable energy will be done finished so what about them what can we do after that amra er por ki korte pari so that's why my student uh, we have shifted the world have shifted to renewable energy sources that means those source we can use several times okay so what are the renewable energy sources uh you know so what what are renewable energy sources renewable energy sources kula ki ba kake bole the sources 
that energy that we can you know regenerate after cycle or after time regular time cycle or that is directly from nature we can directly get from nature and it is possible to generate over and over over and over one one after one after another that means we can use but after that we can also recycle that okay and we are we are getting these energy sources day after day so those are renewable energy sources and these sources are basically comes from nature our environment provides these renewable energy sources and you all know the nature we take breath we take oxygen from our nature and you all know these are abundant that means lots of amount of oxygen is available in our environment so the renewable energy sources are also abundant abundant means huge amount prochur banglai jake bolay prochur porimane ba bipul porimane my students uh, i'm i'm talking with uh, my foreign students as we have uh, some bengali student uh, so uh, i'm telling you that in in middle of the lecture i will also speak in bengali for a few few seconds so i think it's okay for you isn't it my student yes sir is it okay for you yes sir no yes sir okay. no problem sir okay please uh, when you don't understand that means i am talking about uh, talking in bengali okay uh, when you when you feel that you are not understanding the sayings i'm talking then you will feel that i'm talking in bengali uh, okay um, okay kadir amader ke dui joni student jahidul ar tumi tumi bangali sir chhoy jon ache sir chhoy jon shobai ke class kore je ekhon theke kore holo sir एनार्जी explaining the definition of renewable energy sources we are now listing what are the renewable energy sources just the name the name what are those ki ki type of renewable energy sources are said first of all it is one is wind energy the number one is wind energy that means we basically get energy from the wind that means the air the next is hydro power hydro means water hydro means water my student so hydro power means the energy we extract from water okay third one is solar energy solar means anyone what is solar means sun solar means sun good solar means sun so basically the energy we extract from sun the third and fourth is the sorry the fourth and fifth is biomass and biofuel so basically these are very common in bengali in bangladesh uh, we basically the wastage of you know household and the shit of you know chickens or cows we basically took those and you know we make a big hoe and we make the fermentation process and from there a, a gas is extracted that is known as methane gas ch4 okay so using those gas we basically uh, harness the energy so these two are basically known as a biomass process and last but not the least is this geothermal energy biomass in bengali je tumra jara jano biogas tumra biogas er naam shuncho गाजन प्रक्रिया माध्यमे ठीक है गुरु हाँ मुरगर बीजा बासा बाड़ी जो मईला आवर्जना रान्ना कर अवशिष्ट गागुला के दिए पचा पचान मध्यमे गाजन प्रक्रिया माध्यम गैस तैरी है ठीक है ग्राम बांगला तुम देखो लास्ट बाट नट दिस्ट माइ स्टूडेंट दैट इज जिओ थार्माल एनार्जी जिओ मीस आर्थ जिओ मीस आर्थ ओके सो दर्फेस अफ आर्थ उ 
suppose this is the surface of earth if we go you know downside of this earth the temperature of the you know inside of the earth is is greater than the surface so using those heat energy we basically get geothermal energy so these are the basically the names we will go to the explanation one by one so always remember except these there are some other renewable energy sources among them one is uh, very emerging one is uh, wave energy wave energy wave do you know what is wave wave is related to sea you know the ocean wave energy another one is tidal energy tidal the high tide low tide that means in bengal in bengali jowar bhata tidal energy okay tidal energy so these two is also known as renewable energy sources and combinedly this two is known as ocean energy ocean energy that means we harness energy from ocean okay so now if we go one by one if we go one by one first of all the wind energy first of all the wind energy so how this wind energy basically works uh i think uh, you have seen this kind of turbine or this kind of blade structure in many documentaries anyone saw from my students anyone saw this type of structure yes sir yes, okay sir. basically these are wind turbine okay, okay. These, these are wind turbine and uh, from this wind turbine we basically harness wind energy the question is that how we get electricity how we get electricity from this type of turbine that is the question now my student i want to clear a thing from the very beginning that is what is turbine you can have your notebooks with during your class because some of the topics i will discuss is not mentioned in the slide so i will tell i will write so you can have your notebooks beside during class what is turbine turbine is a rotational device my student will this will go to discuss uh, in the upcoming uh, classes we have a separate class on turbine different types of turbine but i'm just giving a overall idea about turbine so turbine is a rotational device it basically rotates here you see here inside this there is a structure which basically rotates okay so turbine is a rotational device which basically rotates okay and uh, do you know that um, how electricity is generated in generator anyone in generator how electricity is generated keu ki bolte parbe kibhabe generator er bhitore electricity toiri hoy how anyone any student my student can anyone tell by rotation by one more time please Ro ro rotation is a rotation by rotation of which device rotor or stator turbine sir oh okay my student my, the interesting thing is that probably you have studied this in machine electrical machine subject isn't it okay so in generator there are two main parts one is rotor another one is stator okay one is rotor another one is stator so when my student one is rotor and one other is another one is stator when this rotor rotates when the rotor rotates we get electricity in the stator okay we get electricity in the stator so we need to make the rotation of this rotor so how we will make the rotation of this rotor we will use a turbine okay we will use a turbine so the turbine will basically rotate and the rotor will rotate also because the turbine and rotor are connected together here are connected together but the interesting thing is that if you see this type of wind turbine moves very slowly my student this type of uh, you know 
this type of wind turbine moves very slowly kubi al very slowly so to you know to match up to match up the speed with wind turbine and the generator rotor we need a gearbox so gearbox is basically the adjustment it makes the adjustment of the speed between the wind turbine and the generator so basically my student what i'm trying to say so this is the wind turbine all these blades these are the blades the turbine blades but inside this is the turbine and this turbine is connected with the generator connected with the generator but interestingly as this turbine moves very slowly but we need a high speed in generator so to adjust the speed to adjust the speed we need a gearbox gearbox we basically use gearbox in motorcycle okay in different types of motorcycle we see the gearbox the first gear the second gear the third gear the fourth gear okay so the gearbox in between we have the gearbox so when the air or the wind you know makes pressure of this blade this blade moves the turbine also moves and according to the turbine the gearbox adjusts the speed and also moves the generator rotor that's how we get the electricity so the total operation i'm explaining in bengali for one minute je ashole tumra shobai jeno je sir generator er ki generator rotor ghurle ki amra bidyut mane voltage pai tai na to rotor ghoranor jonno amake kichu the ghuraite hobe jeta diye amra ghurabo take bola hoy prime mover tumra mone machine e porcho je jeta diye amra ghurabo take bola hoy prime mover so ekhane basically prime mover holo ki prime mover holo turbine wind turbine ekhon tumra jano generator er speed koto thake tumra generator speed er sutro porcho synchronous speed n equals to 120f by p 1200 rpm 1600 rpm mane ki minute e 1600 bar 1200 bar onek ghurte hoy kintu ei wind turbine gulo kintu khub slowly ghore thik ache khubi slowly ghore tale ami jodi directly ei turbine er sathe ami jodi generator rotor ta connect kore dei tahole kintu rotor ei generator ami bidyut pabo na karon ki eta khubi slowly ghurche to ei speed er je samonjoshota etake thik korar jonno majkhane ekta gear box byabohar kora hoy je low speed ke ki high speed e কনভার্ট করে দেয় তোমরা মোটরসাইকেলে গিয়ার দেখছো যে আমরা এখন থার্ড গিয়ারে চলে যাই মোটরসাইকেলে কিন্তু স্পিড অনেক বেড়ে যায় ঠিক আছে এরকম আমরা তোমরা বুঝতে পারছো কাদির এন্ড জাহিদুল যে আছো বুঝে গেছে কিভাবে কাজ করে উইন্ড টারবাইনটা ওকে স্যার প্লিজ এটা অ্যাকচুয়ালি মানে দেখা যায় যে মানে শহরের রাস্তার সাথে লাগানো থাকে মানে পুরো এটা কেন স্যার মানে দি কারেন্ট উৎপাদন হয় হুম হুম छादे बसाना डकुमेंटर <laughs> তো ওইখানে হয়তো বা শহর ওইখানে হয়তো বা ওদের বাতাস আছে কিন্তু আমাদের দেশে সব জায়গায় এরকম বাতাস নাও থাকতে পারে সো এটা একটা স্টাডির ব্যাপার ওইখানে পর্যাপ্ত বাতাস আছে কিনা বা এটা কি কারণ উত্তর নেই স্যার হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ এটাই কথা বললাম যে এই টারবাইনটাকেই যখন টারবাইনটা যখন ঘুরবে এই টারবাইনটার সাথে জেনারেটরটাকে डायरेक्टली কানেক্ট করা হয় কিন্তু টারবাইন কিন্তু খুব স্লোলি ঘুরে দেখো বিশাল টারবাইন এগুলা অনেক যদি অনেক হালকা করে তৈরি করা হয় তাও কিন্তু বিশাল স্ট্রাকচার দেখলে মনে করবে যে সাত সাত আট তলা বা ছয় তলা বাড়ি সমান বিশাল বিশাল স্ট্রাকচার তো এত বড় টারবাইন তো খুবই আস্তে আস্তে ঘুরবে মিনিটে কিন্তু আমাদের জেনারেটর তো অনেক দ্রুত ঘুরতে হবে সো এই কারণে মাঝখানে একটা গিয়ার বক্স লাগায় দেওয়া হয় যে ওই স্পিডের সাথে জেনারেটর স্পিডটাকে কি অ্যাডজাস্ট করে দেয় বুঝতে পারছো জি স্যার ওকে थैंक यू वेरी मच माय ফরেন স্টুডেন্টস ফর এলোইং মি টু এক্সপ্লেইন ইন বেঙ্গলি ওকে 
So this is very interesting. Uh, I will suggest my student to search in YouTube uh, that how wind energy basically you know generates. So you see the video, and it will clear it will clear you much more when you visualize. Okay. Uh, the next is hydropower. Hydropower. It is you know I already told you that hydro is basically uh, you know related to water. Hydro means water. The energy, the electricity energy we basically generate from water is known as hydropower. Okay, so the electricity energy we generate from water that is known as hydropower. In Bangladesh, <clears throat> we have a hydropower power plant. Can anyone tell me from Bengali students from where? Kaptai, sir. Yes, Kaptai. Who said Abdul Qadir? Yes, sir. Okay, yes, the Kaptai hydroelectric power plant. Uh, we have a hydroelectric power plant situated in Bangladesh that is known as Kaptai hydroelectric power plant. Uh, if you don't know, you can note it that the capacity of the Kaptai hydroelectric power plant is 230 megawatt. Watt is the you know, unit of power, megawatt. That means 230 into 10 to the power 6 watt. This is the capacity of the Kaptai hydroelectric power plant. Very important for different government exam. Okay. The interesting thing is that we will discuss now how this hydropower generate. How this hydropower basically generate. My student, interestingly, that in this case, or this in the hydroelectric power generation, uh, a very interesting basic concept is used. So when you are have a water flow in a river, in a river, so what they do, they make a damp, they make a structure, they make a solid structure. So when they make a solid structure, the water from the one side cannot flow to the other. Okay, so they can make a solid structure. So the water from one side cannot flow to other. So you see that when we make a solid structure, the level of water of one side is increasing and the level of water of other side is decreasing. So we can see a level difference. We can see a level difference. Suppose we make the solid structure. So when we make this, you know, damp in Bengal, it is known as bath. So I mean, at a bath dilam, at a colors, when it's throat, no, it a bath de dilam, bath de dileki, ek pashiki. And the other side, the water level will be lower. So what thing happens? Next thing is that we make a gate. We need to make a gate. So we are making a gate, suppose. We are making a gate in between. So we need to make a gate. And from that gate, we will pass the water, we will pass the water. So here you can see that basically, first of all, they used make a dam. They created a dam. So the water from the one side is higher and the water level of the other side is lower. So you can see there is a height difference. There is a height difference created by the dam. So in the dam, there is a gate. This is known as switch gate. This is known as switch gate. So when the water is available in the in this site, you can see that there is a huge pressure of water because there are huge amount of water. Okay. And this is the potential energy of water. So when we open the gate, so there are there is a chamber, there is an angle chamber that is known as pen stoke. Okay, the pipe. And here it is turbine. The turbine is situated down under. And with the turbine, the generator is coupled. That means if the turbine rotates, the generator rotor will rotate and the electricity will be generated. So the turbine ghore, turbine shate generator rotor ghurbe and rotor ghule ki. Generator the camera bidu to pabo. So my student, when the switch gate is open, when the gate is open the water will flow. The water will flow and heat this turbine. 
heat this turbine with a huge energy because the water is you know available here it is potential energy the potential energy but when we open the gate this potential energy becomes kinetic energy that means the goti shakti thik ache goti shakti and this kinetic energy heats the turbine with a high force and the turbine rotates and we get the electricity this is the way of you know producing hydroelectric power okay we have one hydroelectric power plant in our country that is known as kaptai hydroelectric power plant uh, if we move to next uh, this is solar energy we all know we all know that how the solar energy basically is produced uh, we we know that there are several amount of solar panels you know situated in different areas where the sun shine gets and this panel gives us the you know electricity can anyone tell me that what type of electricity we get from solar cell or the solar panel is it dc or is it ac is please is it dc dc, DC. the yes. electricity yes, DC. yes thank you so much the electricity we get from the solar energy that means the solar panel okay is basically direct current or the dc the dc electricity so remember don't make mistake so if i want to use this dc uh, we can we can either you know store into battery or if i want to use our uh, fan light these are all ac sources these are all ac load okay uh, so at that time you know uh, we need inverter have we studied power electronics the last semester yes sir how to convert from dc to ac so the inverter sir yes we need to use inverter okay so we will use the inverter that will convert the you know dc source to ac i'm requesting all my students uh, in the meantime to give your role in the chat box everyone i uh, if i'm not wrong to say 11 students are present ke bolte se je recording korle bhalo hoto shahriyar ji sir ami bolechilam ei recording recording hocche বিকজ and the biomass this is the process uh, i will not discuss too much about this biomass we all know that uh, the different wastage materials of you know human uh, consumers the animal crop uh, crops the animal sheets it can be cows it can be you know chicken uh, ducks whatever you make to the decomposition you put and you get the uh, you know methane gas and from there on you can get the electricity uh, from this biomass okay so these are the fermentation or the decomposition process from where we get electricity and after that the wastage or the remaining parts we can use as a fertilizer in the land okay biogas toiri korar pore je eta thake je wastage ta thakbe seta abar fertilizer hishebe byabohar kora hoy ba macher khaddo hishebe byabohar kora jay jara gramer dekhcho erokom biogas project e tara idea ache tader je ভূপৃষ্ঠ আমাদের মাটি if i go to you know inside am jodi bhuprishtha theke bhetor er dike jai the temperature increase tapmatra bere jay the temperature increase and the heat energy also increases okay tap shakti bere jay so we want to use those heat energy 
we want to use those heat energy. So um, how, how can we use that heat energy? Uh, this is known as geothermal energy. So we make two pipes. We make, you know, we make holes, uh, big holes, probably 100 kilometers, 50 kilometers. Okay, so this is very costly project and uh, not uh, been implemented in Bangladesh. I can put the Bangladesh Karan could be costly and could be high technologically advanced hote hoi. So we need to make two types of hole. Okay. So in one side we give water. One side we give water. So when the water goes inside the earth, as the temperature is rising, the water becomes steam. There are three stages. One is ice, solid. One is water that is liquid and steam, vapor, that is, you know, gaseous state. So when it goes to inside the, you know, earth, inside the earth, it becomes steam. After that, in the another pipe, the steam is taken to the surface one more time. And from there on, this steam is used for electricity generation. How we use the steam to electricity generation we will discuss to the next class because from the next class our topic will be steam power plant that means how we generate electricity using steam okay so my student uh, uh, so this this is the process the process is that you have to make two big you know hole and one side you give water another side uh, so when the water reaches the you know the lowest part and it becomes um, you know steam and after that we need to take those steam to the surface in bengali গরমে বাষ্প হয়ে যাবে ওই বাষ্পটাকে নিয়ে আবার আরেকটা গর্ত দিয়ে বা আরেকটা যে পাইপ আমরা সেটআপ করছি ওই সেটআপ ওই বাষ্প কি আবার পৃথিবী পৃষ্ঠে নিয়ে আসা হয় এখন ওই বাষ্প দিয়ে হলো বেসিক্যালি পরবর্তীতে তোমার বিদ্যুৎ উৎপাদন করা হয় কিভাবে উৎপাদন করা হয় স্টিম পাওয়ার প্ল্যান্ট এটা আমরা নেক্সট ক্লাস থেকে পড়ব সো আজকে এটা নিয়ে ডিটেইলস আলোচনা করে লাভ নাই আমরা নেক্সট ক্লাস থেকে পড়ব কিভাবে স্টিম দিয়ে বিদ্যুৎ উৎপাদন করা হয় সো মাই স্টুডেন্টস দিস ইজ জিওথার্মাল এনার্জি সো দ্য মেইন দ্য মেইন theme was uh, and that to give you a clear idea of about a different type of renewable energy sources now the next thing is that uh, there are some advantages and some a disadvantage or you know, problems of renewable energy sources uh, if i if i go one by one so first of all if i discuss the advantage of renewable energy source my student, you know that um, the first thing is that definitely uh, we see the renewable energy source comes from nature, isn't it? It comes from nature. That means the wind, the sun, the ocean, the geothermal energy, it comes from nature and it is, you know, we have huge amount of wind, sun, ocean. So that means it will never end huge amount of we have huge amount of wind sun that means the source are huge so this is a very advantage next thing is it is full free of charge we do not need to pay the almighty for the wind we do not need to pay the almighty for the sun the ocean the geothermal energy anything we do not need to pay so it is full free of charge okay the third thing is that uh, when when we get this type of energy it, it requires very less maintenance that means we can if we if we can set uh, the power plant for one time it requires very less maintenance maintenance means it face less problem so you need to you know correct in you know less time uh, also, it is known as that they are clean energy. That means we are using the environment. We are using the environment to get this energy. So these are clean. We know that if we burn oil, 
if we burn coal and if we burn natural gas, it, it makes the global warming. It makes the global warming or the greenhouse effect to the environment. But this type of renewable energy sources, my student, are totally clean and not harmful for the environment. So these are the advantages of the renewable energy sources. But uh, we all know a coin has two sides. One side it is advantage and the other side we may have some problems also for these renewable energy sources. So uh, first of all, first of all, the first problem might come uh, if we discuss one by one, one by one, suppose for the solar energy. Solar energy, what is the main problem? The main problem might be, sir, we might have sun in the daytime, but in the night, we do not have sun available. So this is a you know, very you know, big problem for solar energy. In nighttime, we cannot get energy. And also, uh, sometimes in the rainy season, we all know that the cloudy weather, the sun, we do not see the sun properly. So at that time also, the solar energy, we cannot get the proper energy. In the wind, wind is also, uh, you know, there is a problem. Problem is that, as I discussed, we cannot set up the wind turbine at every, every place. There is a minimum amount of wind speed required. You know, if we set up the wind turbine and it did not move the turbine, so we cannot get the energy. So for the wind, it is necessary to choose the right place for setting set up the wind because we need strong winds, enough amount of wind to rotate the turbine. So these are the problems, you know, uh, if we discussed more uh, for hydroelectric power plant, uh, the problem is that we require a huge amount of area and it's very difficult to build a huge structure of damp, a huge structure of damp. So it is very expensive and also very difficult to build. For the geothermal energy, it is very difficult to drill. That means to, uh, to drill, that means to make the hole uh, inside the thermal or inside the earth. It's very difficult and very expensive very expensive so these are the problems for the renewable energy sources my student uh, geothermal energy at a set up kora on a costly plus on a crease current on a one of those within kilometer go video all again take a second on a cost like a genius by one a high-tech security like so it's very difficult so uh, 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 this slide gives you the different types of power plant. The different types of power plant, that means uh, the power plant is basically known as where the electricity is generated. Electricity is generated, that is known as power plant. And first of all, if we discuss the basis of fuel, that means which fuel we use. If we use steam, that power plant is known as steam power plant. If we use diesel oil, that is known as diesel power plant. If we use uranium, that is known as nuclear power plant. If we use water, that is known as hydroelectric power plant. And if we use gas, hot gas, that is known as a gas turbine power plant. So this is on the basis of power plant, on the basis of fuel, that which fuel we use. Amra J fuel ta bevar kurbo, tar naam unushare, basically a power plant gular. And another one is uh, on the base nature of load. That means one is base load, another one is peak load. Base load, another one is peak load. It has a very important uh, explanation in the next slide, the base load and peak load. Base load power plant and peak load power plant, there are, these are, you know, it has two types of purpose. So what is base load? Base load power plant are those power plant which basically generates electricity throughout the year. Shara bachor biddu dut padan kore jay power plant gula ta adhe kabul hai base load power plant. Ar mona koro jay peak time hai. Jamon 
গরম কালে বা সন্ধ্যার দিকে যে টাইমে মনে করো চাহিদা বেশি থাকে সেই সময় যে সব পাওয়ার প্ল্যান্ট গুলা চালু থাকে তাদেরকে বলা হয় পিক লোড পাওয়ার প্ল্যান্ট দ্যাট মিন্স দ্য বেস লোড পাওয়ার প্ল্যান্ট আর দোজ হুইচ ইজ ইউ নো হুইচ রানস অল দ্য টাইম অল দ্য টাইম দ্যাট ইজ বেস লোড পাওয়ার প্ল্যান্ট and peak load power plant are those power plant which runs at the peak time and suppose in the summer in the summer so many you know so much hotness over there so we need to use air conditioner the you know fridge the, the you know lots of fan so at that time the demand of electricity is much more so that's why we need high amount of electricity so on those time the peak load power plant are basically generated but in the base load the, these type of power plant are always you know working throughout the year so these are the two types of power plant on the types of nature of load the when the load is load demand is high we use peak load power plant when the load demand is normally uh, the peak load power plant is off okay only if the base load power plant works and uh, the last slide gives you the locations of power plant okay uh, it 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 gives you the importance of that we cannot we cannot establish a power plant anywhere suppose uh, sakline asked me that sir can i uh, establish a wind turbine on our university campus no so that means it has some reputation it has some uh, limitation limitation that means for the wind we need for the wind turbine we need wind yes, so sir. we cannot we cannot establish a wind turbine anywhere so where the wind is available suppose in bangladesh in the coastal area samudra upokulborti elaka je gula ache feni hote pare sandeep hote pare hatia hote pare there the wind turbine can be implemented suppose another thing the steam power plant steam comes from water steam comes from water so we cannot make a steam power plant on the middle of panthopod signal why because we need large amount of steam and when we need large amount of steam we need large amount of water so we cannot give supply water at the panthopod signal so that's why the steam power plants are situated you know beside river besides river in bangladesh one of the largest power plant ghorashal power plant is situated by shitolakha river tumra jara jodi jano oidike thako keu je ghorashal power plant ki shitolakha nodir pashe ashuganj power plant largest power plant in bangladesh is situated by voirob river okay so these are the availability suppose uh, in the nuclear power plant we cannot establish nuclear power plant anywhere in the dhaka city because the first thing is that the population density will be very low at that area where we establish nuclear power plant the population man sankha onek kom thakte hobe and also the danger of earthquake oi jaga ta earthquake we it cannot have the risk for earthquakes so the things is that the interesting thing i want to convey to you that we cannot establish power plant anywhere we need to consider some factors regarding different types of power plant so that's the importance of location of power plant okay uh so uh these are uh, you know till uh, today's class uh, now i am i am asking to all of my students uh to you know please you can ask me any question regarding our class lecture if you have any confusion you can ask me tomader modhe jodi karo confusion thake tomake jiggesh korte paro my student if you have any questions uh, regarding our class lecture you can ask me sir uh, yes sir we have questions sir yes please tell uh, sir in the steam power plant uh, we will study in later right 
Yes. Okay, sir. Uh, I have a question from the steam power plant, sir. Uh, in the water, there is a, you will be converted as a steam. Yes. So that's why, sir, in the steam power plant, sir, uh, in the water, can we make it boiling, right? Uh, can we make? Boiling. Yes. Basically, we use boiler to make water from, uh, you know, to make steam from water. We make, we use boiler. Yes. In the next class, we will discuss what is a steam power plant, how it works. Okay, so that's why I did not, you know, describe so much because it will be described, you know, thoroughly in the next upcoming classes. That's why. Okay, sir. In this area, in geothermal, sir, can you show the figure of the geothermal? Uh, geothermal. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Give me one minute. Uh, geothermal. Yes, please. Yes, sir. Uh, there is a sir, uh, cold water, sir, uh, in the mm -hmm. solid water, right? Yes. Um, then we will change it from uh, normal water. Yes. Uh, okay, sir. I think it will be the normal water. First, we give the normal water, then it will be making the steam. Yes. Basically, you know, the interesting thing is that uh, when we uh, will uh, study the steam power plant, you will see that that the water basically comes from the river. Okay, comes from the river, and then it gives. You know, we starts to boil. We starts to make it hotter. And when we give hotter, it at sometimes later it becomes steam, and there are different types of steam. We'll discuss later also. Uh, and after that, those hot steam we give flow to the uh, turbine, the steam turbine. And due to you know that hotness, the high temperature and high pressure, the turbine rotates. So in this geothermal energy, what it is done that the boiling to boil the water, we need definitely energy. We need definitely coal or gas or you know uh, natural gas or oil something like that so without using those we are giving the water inside the you know earth and using the energy of inside earth we are making hot water so now after coming here if it is still not steam still we will require very less amount of fuel to make it steam am i clear Yes, sir. Okay, that is the purpose. You still saw that that is steam and hot water. That means whole water cannot may not be steam, but still the the water, the normal temperature water has become hot water. So it will be it will require very less amount of fuel to make steam. That is the purpose. Am I clear? Yes, sir. It's clear, sir. Okay, sir, uh, hydropower. Hydropower. Yeah. yeah, hydropower. Give yes, me sir. one second. Uh, hydropower, hydropower. Yes, please. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, in here, uh, there is a dam. There is a uh, dam. Yes, there is a dam. There is a gate, sir. Yes, switch gate. Um, yes. Yes, sir. The switch gate will be the, the water will be flowing uh, from here. Yes. Then the turbine will be moved, right? Yes, yes, yes. Sir, yes. can we uh, need for a uh, chair box to increase the speed of the uh, generator? Can we? Gearbox. Uh, can we need sir, gearbox? Sir. <laughs> gearbox. No, no, no. It's not required here because the turbine uh, moves very fastly. Because uh, in the wind energy, the problem was that it moves very slowly because the amount of energy we get from wind is very, sm you know, very small or very less. That's why we need to gearbox. But here, the you know, the amount of water is being controlled by the switch gate. This switch gate, you know. We control this and the amount of water flows to the turbine. The pressure and the force is so much that it basically comes up to the rated speed of the generator. So that's why the gearbox is not required here. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. What's your role, my student? Thank you so much for asking me so many questions. Um, I really appreciate it. And uh, day 27, uh, today is uh, 5, 121. I'm, I'm taking the role, uh, role 27, uh, role 33. Uh, okay, let me go. Everyone can, you can give your role in the chat box. I'm taking a role from the chat box. <coughs> uh, uh, role uh, 23. Uh, then roll seven, roll fifteen, uh, roll twenty-eight, 
roll 20 and um, roll 27 i have already written roll 22 uh, roll yes, 19 sir. yes thank you roll 19 roll 16 roll 16 and roll 33 anyone else uh only yes one three total 10 students one more students were present can anyone tell me mm. okay let me let me okay uh, okay 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 what's the role seven sir seven okay Okay, I'm telling uh, the role one more time. Role 27, role 33, role 23, role 7, 15, 28, 20, 22, uh, 19, 16. Anyone left? 17, sir. 17, okay, okay. So thank you so much, my student. Uh, I, will, I will give you the class lecture and the video as soon as possible. And uh, okay, see you in the next class, okay? Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you.